Hello everyone, I am Sonali Kanaude, Assistant Professor of Computer Engineering Department of All India Sri Shivaji Memorial Society Institute of Information Technology, Pune. Today our topic is Feature Engineering. In that we are discuss about the, what is blockchain, then history of blockchain, centralized versus decentralized system, then uh, why is blockchain is important, then uh, what about the limitations of de uh, decentralized system. So, first of all, what is blockchain? A blockchain is a growing list of records called uh, blockchain, which are interconnected by utilizing cryptography. Each block contains a cryptographic uh, graphic hash of the previous block. A timestamp and exchange information utilizing a uh, blockchain, we can safely store information over the shared system, where everybody can see but can't do any uh, alteration. Uh, so, uh, next is the history of blockchain. The blockchain technology was described in 1991 and uh, it is developed or it is research scientists uh, Stuart Haber and W. Scott Stornata. They wanted to introduce a computationally uh, practical solution for time stamping digital documents so uh, that they could not be backdated or tampered. They develop a system using the concept of cryptographically secure chain of block and to store the timestamp document. Then uh, what is the centralized uh, and decentralized system? Uh, centralized system is the process of uh, con con uh, con uh, concentrating power of authority in the uh, hands of senior management. And the other hand, the decentralization refers to the top-down delegation of power and authority of functional level management. Also, semantic and uh, continuous accumulation of power at central points is centralization. And the other hand, decentralization is an organization's uh, systematic delegation of authority. Centralization is, uh, is the idea for small business, but decentralization is preferable for huge business or big business. Then uh, next is the formal communication is possible in a uh, centralized organization also uh, in other hand the uh, in decentralization disappears the communication uh, the decision takes la longer under centralization since all authorities depends on the decision of a sole entity on the other hand decentralization shows to be more effective in decision making because decision are made closer to the action also, the centralize, uh, sorry, centralization provides uh, comprehensive leadership and coordination. Also, decentralization shares the load of top-level management. When an organization management under insufficient control, then uh, centralization applies in contrast. Decentralization applies when the organization management is completely controlled. Then uh, next is the why blockchain is important. Because uh, blockchain increases the trust, security, also uh, transparency and traceability of shared data and across a business network. First is uh, then uh, there are some uh, features because of the blockchain is important. First is immutability, transparency, digital freedom, truly decentralized service, excellence use cases, better security, uh, inexpensive uh, and improved efficiency. Uh, first is the immutability means blockchain is immutable. This opens a, a lot of opportunity for platform for uh, immutable threads to make their system more function in highly uh, competitive maker. Uh, take the supply chain, for example, immutability enables uh, companies to ensure that uh, there is no hamper done uh, to the package in transit. Blockchain is immutable. It is not possible to alter the package information in any way. The next is the transparency. Transfer another is the transparency makes blockchain uh, so important in transparency. There are different types of blockchain. Public blockchain provide transparency due to the uh, its nature and it is very useful for different function of uh, our society, uh, including doing election. Uh, then. Uh, next is the uh, digital freedom. Digital freedom, uh, it is a human, uh, as a human being, one of your right is freedom. There uh, are centralized entities 
that offers connectivity in terms of economy but also take away our freedom then uh, next is the uh, truly uh, decentralized system decentralized system are a uh, backbone of our uh, futuristic society now uh, be it is asset management uh, or uh, energy management they will be decentralized service for every sector out there then next is the excellence use cases blockchain is not confined to just one uh, particular use case this makes blockchain excellent technology for the uh, future of our society it can be uh, used in almost every sector including trade finance bank government education healthcare oil and so on uh, these use cases also have a huge impact the next is the better security the blockchain uses cryptography uh, to add a layer of security uh, to the data store on network the decentralization feature on top of the cryptography makes uh, blockchain provide better security than other system cryptography utilizes complex mathematical algorithm and uh, that can be used to secure the data and system on the blockchain network then uh, uh, next is the inexpensive uh, blockchain is inexpensive when compared to other technology the removal of centralized uh, authority removes the buffer required to run the network optimally and uh, next is the improve efficiency uh, then improve efficiency is another answer to why blockchain is important uh, the cause is better security uh, intermediately removed and uh, removal and overall better pro processes then transaction also takes second rather the week to complete especially uh internalization uh, transactions so uh blockchain is also important in business okay thank you also uh, some limitations of uh, uh, de uh decentralized system uh in that uh, leadership centralized management uh resembles and uh dictatorial form uh, of leadership where employees are only expected to deliver results according to what the top executives assign them then uh, remote control uh, delay uh, in work lack of employees loyalty etc thank you